You don't like Hawk's head? What's wrong with Hawk's head? It's too flat. This just got too weird of a head for you. Too weird. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm just very glad that his head isn't uh, what the leak photo of him was. <laughs> there was like a leak photo that was roaming around and Hawk just looked like totally weird. Like totally weird. If you still think he looks weird, then you know, looks weird to you, that's perfectly fine. I don't think he looks too bad. I think his voice sounds good. He's probably one of the better voiced characters in the game. Kind of looks like the DS version. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you fight Colin, so that's a thing. I think you fight Colin in the Advance Wars 2 version, though, too. So, I mean, that's not really anything new. Can you actually just play with the map, like, huge like this? Yeah, you can, too. That's pretty cool. This is actually kind of convenient to keep track of everything that's going on. I don't think I'm actually going to keep it this way though. <laughs> little bit much, little bit much. So you have to keep 80% of your units alive. Sammy might be okay, but she kind of lacks the KO potential, which is the tough part of the turn. I mean, you got a lot of lines that you have to break. I mean, she would be able to victory march the HQ pretty good, that's for sure, but... I don't know. I don't know. Probably wouldn't be too bad, though. Okay. Because I don't really need to build the missile, like, super early this time. I'll just leave that for later. I did have to play Sammy on, um, what the heck is that map called? Where is that map called? <laughs> Shoot, I can't remember. It's the one where you play as Olaf, or you play against Olaf, and it's like, you have to go along the side of the map and then circle around and then like Blue Moon's base like right in the middle and he owns stuff to like, you know, the west. And it's like super annoying. I had to play Sammy to be that map in order to S rank it because I could not for the life of me get anybody else to get down there in time to meet like the time to play. Yeah, point Stormy, that's it. I could not get anybody else to do it. She's the only one that I could manage to get. Because I had to cap the HQ, right? It's like, it's the only thing that I could do. And somehow when I did it, I managed to get 
uh, Olaf to use three blizzards in a row, which was pretty nice. I was okay with that. Go one out. One single infantry. God, I hate point storming. <laughs> it's not like a difficult map if you're just trying to beat it, but if you're trying to get the stupid S rank on it, it's like, oh my god. Just shoot me, please. Yeah, Terra Mall is pretty bad. I don't think it's going to be able to take it out. I think it might be fine. I think. Hopefully, I don't know. I haven't actually bought any of the other Raven maps yet, either. Uh, I've been taking my time with this game. <laughs> I haven't really, like, progressed too, too far. I beat, like, both the normal campaigns and pretty much just been doing War Rooms. But I'm, like, oh, gosh darn it. I'm really taking my time, and I'm trying to really get like, perfect 300s all around. That Blue Moon Factory, eh? I don't really blame you. <laughs> That's pretty much far enough. That's like the end of the campaign, anyways, right? Blue Moon Factory. Like, yeah. GG, we're good. Okay, these guys are gonna be coming in, so I gotta retreat this guy. I don't wanna lose two. Oh, wait, you know what? Probably, like, not a great idea. Oh, I already moved so many units, too. Um... One infantry. Every single factory mission is dreadful. Like, they're all terrible. They're all way too difficult to pull off an S rank. It's like... You know, just... <laughs> I feel like they're even harder to pull off the S rank now too. Like I used to be able to like I don't think I could get like a perfect S rank. Out, but I was able to get like in the S rank region. And now I'm just like nowhere close. So I don't know if I just have to like get back in the swing of things or if like it's changed like just that much. So what, they broke it? It's just like, just that bad now? But if it's just that bad now, I completely, I completely agree. <laughs> it's like, it's so difficult. Helena, you used to be pretty good at this game, believe it or not. <laughs> and now my scores are just like, oh no, they're just no good. 
just no good at all. Bring this guy back here. Um, you guys have to deal with a Neo tank over there. Now. Ha! Not gonna be able to deal with a Neo tank. Too powerful. I mean, he is gonna build a bomb, which is kind of annoying, but. Do my duty. Yeah, more or less, that's pretty much your options, right? I mean, you're still on a time crunch, so it's like... Yeah. No, I don't know. Just annoying. Eerie annoying. I would rather do any 3 versus 1 world map than learn how to S-rank the factory missions. <laughs> That's for sure. That's the problem with any of the missions that have multiple uh, COs, though. It's just, it's, it's, it's really tedious to learn how to do it more than anything. It's like, it's not impossible, but it's just, it's annoying. Very annoying. I'll obviously do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely gonna do it, but not anytime soon. That'll be like the last thing that I try to learn how to do. Okay, is that everything? I think that's pretty much, pretty much everything on the map that I really want to do. Can you guys hit me? I can't hit the mecha key once. I don't like the fact he's got the airport now. How bad were the final two? Like the ones against Sturm? Just... It's bad. You know, okay, for one thing, I think the second last mission against Sturm, where you have to like, you know, push into those three black cannons, I'm pretty sure that is like the worst mission ever designed. Just hands down, like honestly just the worst mission ever designed. It is just tedious and boring and just, just dumb. Straight up dumb. Would not recommend that mission to anybody. The final battle, um, I don't know. It was okay. Not really anything to write home about. It was just, uh, you know, your standard battle battle. Against Stern. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, you definitely can't lose that map, for sure. It's just... It's just annoying and long. Like, nobody... Nobody wants to just... Tediously move around the map and... Just slowly, like, push up into, like, these cannons, right? And, like... Also... You have to, like, contend with, like, Sturm's little movie force there, which automatically gets some, like... A meteor strike which just slows down your progress just that much more. It's like, it would be cool if that map was more 
It would be cool if it was like a fog of war mission where you actually had to like push up and fight off the cannons. But just the fact that you have to break through pipes, two sets of pipes, you have to destroy lasers. So basically, your sides are just building battleships while your, your guy in the center is just building up a bunch of units just sitting there just waiting until you can push up with enough artillery that you can just like break the freaking the things and like everything's just getting injured and it's just I just don't like it. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of the that is in position to attack that guy. So that is out of here. Okay. All right, I have to just check on the status over here. That's yeah, not too bad. I can just build another infantry to help cap. Anyway, sorry about the little rant about that mission. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I have always hated that mission. Those with a passion. Passionately hate that mission. He's got no anti-air. This is a free dude. Free dude. He's got that fighter though. East fighter not doing anything meaningful. Yeah, and he's kind of just sitting there right now. But it's annoying because it means I can't bring my battle copters in yet. But we got this guy here, so he will protect me from that guy for now. I'm just trying to think like what would be what would be the route. I can't build anything out of that. Twenty-three units. I'm just gonna bring them here. Uh, I could build another battlecopter, but it's kind of kind of risky. I'm just gonna build a tank. I'll send that guy north. Nah, whatever. Nobody needs infantry. I totally did forget them though. I mean, most of the time my infantry are kind of just standing around the map and not doing anything until I remember them. <laughs> but you know, if they're just standing in the back, then they're not going to die. So, I mean, that's a bonus. Also, I am insanely thankful for the uh, the fast forward function. Yeah, I'll try not to forget them this time. I'm gonna try. Yeah, 
Wanna go for you? No. I'm like super close to hyper upgrade. I can probably probably tease it out actually. That's annoying. Why? I'm gonna need that now. Okay. Um, I'll definitely have it by next turn, so that will just block that. As soon as I can get the fighter out of the way, then I'm pretty good. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Oh my god, that was a- oh, yeah, I probably should have checked that. Oh, it's annoying. still down there. Uh, is this guy in position? No, he's not in position. That guy's not in position either. Okay, sweet. That's like no damage. Yeah, it's 90. Mm, that'll be fine. I'm not gonna get Hyper Upgrade this turn. So, yeah, that'll be okay. Build another anti air. Now we're going to position to move this guy, and it's, uh, nothing in the way. So I can destroy this guy, or at least take the shot. 
and these guys can move back up here. Uh, what else can we do? Can't. Well, I guess I could. Can't build an air unit from here. So this guy will just take him out. It's not really worth it. So I'll build another battle copy from up here. Then that's pretty much it. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to miss a lot into this time, though. Which kind of sucks. I really do like using the missile lock, but... I mean, I could've, but I think one is fine. I mean, the fighter in the center is mostly just bait for the, uh, the hyper upgrade. It's mostly all I really wanted him for. At least for now. Well, he's got way too much stuff up here, and I'm not really, not a huge fan of that. And this guy's in position. Ah, oh, that's so. Annoying. Why are you doing this to me? Fifty-eight. I guess he can just take it. It's not like I, not like a huge deal or anything, but I don't want him to take it. Hmm. already. Well, I guess I could always just build a few more. <laughs> Time for a tune -up. I just build a few more. Yeah, it'll be fine. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, like, if we don't do it, then it just means I have to do it again, right? So, it's not like a huge deal. I am very accustomed to doing the exact same mission over and over and over until I finally get it right, so... Nothing out of the ordinary for old sin. This <laughs> is what it is. I very much wish that Advancers by Web used Andy's actual Super Code power in Advancers by Web. Because in the normal one, he doesn't get the plus 20% firepower bonus. Or in Advancers by Web, I mean. But, you know, in Advancers 2, he does. Which is, like, ballin'. And there's no reason why he shouldn't get it. Okay, so I have some money, and I have to figure out what it is I'm going to do with this money. Because... Okay, I have to think first. No matter what I do, if I attack this guy, I'm going to lose the battle cockpit. So... I can't... do that. I just built another battle cockpit right there. So what does that leave me with? Like 26? That's okay. That will allow me to start building the bomber. And build the mech. 
got to get at least one mech on the field at this <laughs> It's important. Very important. Let's just move these guys forward. And definitely just build another one. Okay, that'll be enough. Hopefully. Don't underestimate me. Oh boy, I got money. Sky. Sky, man. Fast forward. I'm not really a huge fan of that bomber. Not even this fighter? No, I kind of just figured that he would be able to hit that guy. Yeah, not a huge deal. I mean, I'm expecting to lose at least a few more units in this entire ensemble, so... That's okay. Plus, you know, I'm not. I'm just semi. And what I really want to do is I want to kill this guy. <laughs> I could transport a 2 HP infantry, did I? Ah, well, whatever. How close are we to... Thing, Four out of thirty-two. One, eight, two. Eh, I'm still in pretty good shape. Still in pretty good shape. for these guys, so they're super running out of fuel. That guy's in repair mode, so I don't think he's going to go and attack. This guy's going to run out of fuel too. Oh, that's so annoying. Actually, I should probably... Get an APC up there. This guy can go He's fine. So, this guy's still here, so I'll put him here. That is. pretty much a sitting duck. Day 16, so I got at least 10 days still. Stupid problem.
Okay. So, this guy can't hit. Yeah, he's very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Does not want to stop, that's for sure. Right there. That's the one. It's probably going to interrupt the cap. Ugh. Gonna be annoying. Why does he do these things to me? Why? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy's in the way. I mean, I could go all in, but I'm gonna lose some stuff. I really don't want to lose too much. have any reinforcements. You know, budget. Let's just go. We're gonna lose some things, but we can kind of like repair them, right? No, not repair them, but we can we can build more stuff. That's, that's what's gonna happen. This guy was just a little bit closer. That would be super cool. It would be super cool if he was just a little bit closer. Oh, I should have attacked the mech. How much of this turn have I done? I got a tank here though. Oh, how close am I? <laughs> um, 77. Whatever. I'll just hyper repair it. Hyper upgrade it. You know, things will be fine. Tank with the bomber from the forest, eh? Yeah, I felt like that would have been the play. Limits what he can do at least, right? So that's nice. Another bomber. <laughs> need more bombers. That's what we need. This is the bomber zone. Population me. Alright. Don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> 
At least you can't build any mega things. So that's kind of nice. Or stealth. Ooh. God, it's so painful. Oh my god, it's, it's a mech. <laughs> What's he doing here? Get him out of here. Okay, but there we are. Day 18. It's getting, getting close. It's getting close. Kill that guy. Get him out of here. go about this. Yeah, okay, so I need one of my fighters to get up there pretty much that. Oh, give me a break. Five's coming in, and we're gonna bring in another anti air. Okay, are we forgetting anything right now? What's our status look like? Five. I need to deploy a unit. Ah. Okay, cool. We deployed a unit. That's another thing about the AI, is like they will just randomly attack your units in like really, really, really bad engagements. Like infantry on battlecopters and stuff. Like that makes no sense to me. That's just like crazy. Craziness. Okay. 
Nine fuel, eh? Still want to keep out of range of the missile. We put the fighter last turn, right? Okay, so I can get this guy up. This fighter also needs to go up here. Is this in range? I'll go up and hit this one. Put me in range over here still, so that's cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And let's go up there. Start sending these guys. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to get the airport, but we'll see. I don't know if it'll be like a huge deal to get the airport or not, but I do get it. It'll be nice, that's for sure. Build an anti-air over here to keep those guys away from me. Um, put the bomber over here, and that's it. No, whatever will I do? Yeah, space block yourself. Do it! Allow me to destroy you. Don't build a fighter. Don't build a fighter. Bomber. Bomber is okay. You know what? That's fine. We give it. This AI is not as smart as the OG AI. That's for sure. Alright, let's back it up. That's a pretty big hit. See ya. Destroy five to six units this turn, eh? I could probably do that. Let's 
probably do that. That's definitely gonna happen. Alright, uh, what else do we want to destroy? That wasn't such a gamble. <laughs> Alright, that should be fun. I think that should be good. Um, definitely not push into that, that's for sure. Yeah, I got two fighters up there, so I'm fine. So, I mean, if this guy goes to attack, I think I got coverage. Uh, well, uh, whatever, it's fine. Not a big deal either. Way. There, I guess I could have been doing something with this guy. But... Forty-four, eh? Forty-five. The EPC. Yeah, I guess that probably would have been a good idea. like two damage there. What? It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. Far too much damage. What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. You're not taking that. Oh, why? Like, out of all the things you could build, I always have to be a fighter. Like, right now. Oh, whatever. Let's continue this random streak of violence over here.
thought for sure that was gonna work. Oh well, whatever. Oh, definitely gonna see where this guy's going first. Um, yeah, okay. Fighter out of this one. And this dude up here. And okay. APC. Oh yeah, no, I, I hadn't planned on moving that guy at all. Plus, I want to keep him here just in case he builds something out of the airport too. I want to keep both of the fighters in position to take something out from that airport too. That's also the reason why I'm not blocking any of the bases, is just so I can make sure that I get those kills too. So, yeah, no worries. Got it covered. units do I have? 43? Okay. I'll end turn. He's got like nothing in range to stop this too, so that's super nice. I think. <laughs> I just gotta double check that. Okay. And that's a rocket. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Your yeah, baby is good over here. Right. We got a fighter. Uh, I can't attack that guy anymore. That's unfortunate. I think I do. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but maybe just one. This fighter's got to go over here to pop. Uh, There's something over here. That's what that's got to do. So I have 44. 44, 44. Been here for a few minutes, Multi. What? Well, welcome. 
I'm actually probably not going to be going for too much longer because I have work uh, in the morning or whatever, but I mostly just kind of wanted to pop on and do some of this mission, you know? Just to, uh, just to see, we're trying to get to 300 right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hopefully it works. Do that. I think... We might got it. We might got it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna end the turn. Is he gonna pop the gold rush? No gold rush this turn? These units just don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, day 23. And we have to do as much damage as we possibly can this time. So is this guaranteed 40? No, that's 33. This guy can take that out though. Alright, what else can we do? How much is my power? Oh, I'm super close to power. Let's just pop the power and see how it goes. Shh. I tell. Don't, don't say it. <laughs> I'm still gonna be killing things. <laughs> Although I appreciate you doing the math for me. <laughs> I very much appreciate that. But now it's all about revenge hits. Revengeance! That's all about. 66%? What is that? Oh, it's on a mountain. No wonder. Luck. No. Wow, I don't even get a kill out of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed right now. Oh no, the cat. does like to meow at the most awkward moments. Okay. Send it. Do it. Easy money. That's what it's all about. 